James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is July 1st, 2023, 6 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just had an M-class solar flare, not a very strong M-class solar flare, but it's from a brand new named Sunspot. Let's go over this really quickly. It's going to be an M1.1 class solar flare out of Sunspot AR3359 that was just named between 7 a.m. and now. Wow. Heading over to Ghost Solar Ultraviolet Imager, 195 angstroms. We can see the explosion here. That's going to be the new Sunspot AR3359 blowing that first M flare. Now, I don't know if it will be geo-effective or not. We have to wait for the modeling on that, but I would like to show y'all the X-ray absorption and also reinstate that it hit our GOES satellite that only orbits 100 to 150 miles above the surface of the planet, Earth. Over to our D region absorption prediction center. We were maintaining a steady C flare all day long. And this will be the impact right at the end here. Again, not as strong as some of the flares that we have seen. It did strike some of the western part of North America, United States, and Canada. And it looks like it was mostly concentrated over the Pacific Ocean, meaning that Hawaii took a pretty good hit as well, if not a direct hit. Again, the radio alternation is not out of hand, but it was an M-class solar flare. This is the latest that we have. We can see Sunspot 3359 right here, and that's going to be responsible for the M1.1 class solar flare that just sparked off our sun. Now, again, we're waiting for the modeling, and there's a good chance that it will miss Earth. But I wanted to warn everyone about this newly named sunspot, AR3359, which isn't complex at all currently, but is probably going to become more complex based on this activity. God bless you and yours. Share and subscribe. Always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.